Kendra and Keith, we are in the middle of a very backed up traffic scene right now on I-86. You can see it goes for quite some distance behind me. This, of course, because of several roadblocks put up as police look for the fugitives. From this parking lot next door, you can see that window has five bullet holes in it. The tree that came down, you can see the bark very dry inside of it rotted. And then when you take a look up, you can see the extent of the damage. This ATV costs $31,000. So it won't just be used in the snow. The Bellevue Fire Company also plans to use it for water rescues. We're on a, one of the large boats that goes out for rescues, for calls. We're joined now by Petty Officer Bostinger with the U.S. Coast Guard. There's some really cool technology on this boat. Christian Mingle and the FBI both gave me tips to keep you and your money safe if you're looking for love online. The FBI also encourages anyone who may have been the victim of a romance scam to come forward. We have all of that information on our website. That line, I have to tell you, stretches so far down the hallway. Students are here. Parents Parents are here and just people from the community who want to help make a difference. Another We Rock the Spectrum Kids Gym is opening up in Western New York. This one will be in Amherst. It's set to open up in June. Actually, already had one donut, and you can see there are customers here already. In fact, Gary is just getting his order right now. Uh, we are in the middle of a very backed up traffic scene right now on I-86. You can see it goes for quite some distance behind me. This, of course, because of several roadblocks put up as police look for the fugitives. We have a look of a line of cars and trucks on I-86 East as we were driving by. My photographer Jeff Wick and I estimate that's about two miles of vehicles just crawling down the interstate ever so slowly. There's also a similar backup going westbound. Now the whole time there there's been a helicopter circling in and out of the area with spotlights looking for Richard Matt and David Sweat. We are told law enforcement is searching every vehicle, including the trunks of cars. Now, this is a very rural area. The closest town to where I'm standing is Friendship, just about 2,000 people. Those driving through this area say that this is something they've never seen before in this region, in this area of Allegheny County. Now, we're hearing several emotions from drivers, some frustrated by the long line, skeptical of the search. Others glad every precaution possible is being taken. I don't think they'd be doing this or having a helicopter overhead if there wasn't something going on. And it it's just seems so distant, but now it's closer. So it makes it a little more real. But I just don't want any troopers killed this time. That one couple says seeing so many state troopers involved in a search like this brings back memories of the Bucky Phillips manhunt back in 2006. Roadblocks are also being set up on County Road 20. Police taking every precaution possible. Once again, though, this evening, try to avoid taking I-86 in either direction in the area of the town of Friendship. Traffic just barely crawling. We estimate we've maybe moved a quarter of a mile in the last 45 minutes actually in the last hour and a half now police just being as thorough as possible with everything going through this area live in friendship Rachel Elzefon 7 eyewitness news my life was a really dark place when I was using heroin um, every day that was the only thing that mattered at just 23 years old Kayla DeAngelo is a recovering heroin addict I have been Narcan a dozen times for DeAngelo and most addicts she knows needing Narcan is scary but still not enough to help them become sober however for some DeAngelo knows the availability of Narcan becomes a double-edged sword that would be some sort of safety not to be able to revive them um, if they were to overdose. That's something Cheek Dewaga police have noticed too. The department is on track to respond to 13 times the number of heroin overdoses as two years ago. More and more cases where uh, we go to a home or a vehicle where somebody's overdosed and there's a Narcan kit in there. Uh, we have several cases where people administer the Narcan themselves or somebody with them administer the Narcan. But Their Assistant problem, Chief Jim Spires says a much bigger yeah, problem yeah. is fentanyl. Despite warnings that many do not know the deadly additive is in heroin, addicts are now seeking it out. The insanity of addiction is that you seek out the things that are most dangerous um, just for the fact of it being stronger. Experts say after the Narcan, is there is not enough sure help for addicts. Right. The real question is, after Narcan's administered, what happens? 
is treatment introduced? Does a person just go back out and use? And for Kayla and police, even if some may be taking advantage of Narcan, it's worth saving someone's child. We're not going to ever do away with the Narcan as long as we can save people's lives. I am extremely grateful to even be sitting here. Um, I believe that there's hope in my future and I have a purpose to live by. Whenever Cheektowaga police officers administer a dose of Narcan, they also hand out this packet with numbers to call for help. We have that information on our website at WKBW.com. In Cheektowaga, Rachel Alzafon 7, Eyewitness News. I just won a million dollars. That may take a while to set it. I don't know. <laughs> I really am excited. I think it'll hit me later. Meet Amy McGavis, the Dunkirk woman came in second in last night's Powerball drawing. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Oh, I am so McGavis and her 90-year-old husband had no idea they were about to become millionaires as she walked into the store. I came in here to see if any of my tickets were winners. It was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> McGavis is a regular at Fredonia Food Mart where she bought the winning ticket. We've had some $17,000 winners on the Take 5 and some scratchers that were pretty big, but nothing in the million dollar range. She wasn't the only winner. Six bucks. I have a $12 winner here, and I was very proud of it till I walked in the door. Others weren't so lucky. Well, I was working, I won money. And I retired. I won nothing. Five of us put in for it. Yeah. So we thought when we heard the news this morning that we yeah. maybe we were lucky, but we weren't. But as the numbers go up, 700 million. <coughs> it went up to 700. The Powerball sales are too, with a little inspiration from McGavis. That's why you're buying. That's why I'm buying. Yes. As for any big plans McGavis has now, she's showing her practical okay. side. Uh, we need a new roof. The Fredonia Food Mart has another famous connection. The owner's daughter won gold in the 2012 Olympics. In Fredonia, Rachel Alzafon 7, Eyewitness News.